Is Bob Dylan a magical Pegasus? Is Eminem addicted to tornadoes? Has Cat Stevens declared a jihad on his beard? Those are all questions I won't be asking my next, next guest. Let's welcome back to the show music journalist Mark Prendel, the most prolific record reviewer since they started keeping track back in the 1300s. Mark, great to see you as always. Hey, I want to talk about Bob Dylan's 33rd studio album, Together yes. Through Life, recently debuted at number one on the Billboard, Billboard charts, just ahead of the Hannah Montana soundtrack. How in God's name did this happen? Yeah, it sold 125,000 copies in its first week, <laughs> which can only mean one thing. What? Baby boomers still don't understand file sharing. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Now, have you heard the record? What do you think yes. of it? Well, it's getting good reviews, but in my opinion, it's the, actually the first lousy album he's recorded in about two decades. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, his stunning one-octave vocal range is still in full force. Yes. But it just seems really generic, and every song goes on and on and on and on and on. Uh, now, this CD came as a complete surprise. It was being announced two months before its release. Do you think its quality was affected by the way it was rushed into stores? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is a 67-year-old a man shouldn't be trying to rush out a bowel movement, let alone a new album, and that definitely oh. shows. Sounds like he did both. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand that, that Dylan actually had former Grateful Dead lyricist Robert Hunter assist him with the words this mm -hmm. time out. Do the lyrics prove to have that trademark Grateful Dead wit? Well, there's no mention of a doodah man or anything. <laughs> no, actually, they're pretty boring, which is, uh, just to take an example, the new Neil Young album has all these songs about an electric car, yeah. and it's really fun, yeah. you know? So I just, I don't know, like, Bob, Bob couldn't have thrown together a few songs about a solar house or a, a bag he uses for recycling. I mean, this is the 90s. Get with it. <laughs> now, I want to move on to another co uh, topic. Uh, NASA astronaut Timothy Copra, this is weird, has announced plans to take a copy of Echo and the Bunnymen's Ocean Rain LP along with him when he blasts off to the International Space Station on June 13th. Mark, does this make any sense at all? First of all, I hate to nitpick here, yeah. but if you're going to take an Echo and the Bunnymen album mm -hmm. up into space and leave it there, yeah. you might want to consider taking the album called Heaven yeah. Up Here. Ah, good point. <laughs> good point. Now, my question is, why Echo and the Bunnymen in the first place? They're not a bad band. I love them, but to take them to space? I know. I know. I mean, I know that in the past we've sent the Beatles up there, we sent Beethoven, but just like you, I had no idea we were this far down the D-list already. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, remind me to get out my Men Without Hats casino for the next show. <laughs> Hey, what is the point of this exercise? And hey, what if some alien being finds it and listens to it? What's it going to think of us? I know! That's actually a very good one. I think we should be sending up stuff like Motorhead, you know, <laughs> Judas Priest. We want them to be, you know, afraid of us, not laugh at our emo haircuts. That is true. We need to send Slayer, nothing but Slayer. Yes. And more importantly, with the recession continuing every day, isn't there something better we could be doing with our money than sending record albums up into space? I couldn't agree with you more. Mm -hmm. However, if there's anyone from NASA watching, uh, my wife has several Echo and the Bunnymen CDs you're welcome to. If you have a P.O. box, she's got some Bauhaus, some Morrissey, and she's out of town, so I could just... <laughs> How dare you, dare you talk badly about Bauhaus. Now, I want to talk about Eminem. He's back in the news due to a controversial video for his new song, 3 AM, a horror film scenario that features Eminem portraying, of all things, a serial killer. Mark, have you seen this video? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you something. You may know this. I'm not British. Yeah. However, I'd like to borrow a bit of their street lingo mm -hmm. to say that this is an awful bloody video for a bloody awful song. Mm, interesting. And I understand that this new, his new album, Relapse, will be his first since 2004. Why such a long wait between records? Uh, yeah, he took a five-year hiatus, apparently because he became addicted to sleeping pills during the recording of his last album, Encore, <laughs> which is interesting because I actually became addicted to vomiting while listening to his last album, Encore. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Now, Relapse isn't due up for another week, but I understand it's already leaked online. Yes. Have you heard the rest of the album? Yeah, more like Recraps. If you, no, <laughs> actually, I kind of like it. I just wanted to say Recraps. Yeah. It's actually very entertaining to me, but it's very offensive. I mean, he's a serial killer in five of the songs. There are rape jokes. He starts gay bashing. He makes fun of Christopher Reeves. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you're looking for any new writers for the show here, <laughs> just the guy. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, just la quickly, legendary singer uh, songwriter Cat Stevens is threatening to sue Coldplay to, for plagiarism due to the similarity of one of his songs, Foreigner Suite, to uh, Viva La Vida. Mm -hmm. Do you think these songs are similar enough to warrant a lawsuit? It's four basic chords. This is the same thing Joe Satriani tried to get. These chords have been used probably 20 times before. I mean, as far seriously, as far as I'm concerned, Coldplay's only crime is second degree murder but that's only a legend that's, <laughs> yeah, that's you know so that's a different topic that. so you think cat stevens is grasping at straws i do actually i mean uh basically if he wants to sue somebody he first of all he should sue the flaming lips because they completely ripped him off yeah. for their song fight test about six years ago yeah and secondly he should sue this yusuf islam guy he's stealing everything <laughs> yeah. he's never did <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like him. It's amazing. Yeah, it's still his whole personality. Plagiarize. All right, we got to go, Mark. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Well done. See you soon with thank more you. music news. He's always mm. so cogent. Coming okay. up next, a big fat sack of mail.